Hi, I'm Amanda from I Am Baker, and today I'm making something special, and it is a marble sheet cake. This cake has two basic components, and that's vanilla cake and chocolate cake, but I like adding real chocolate into the chocolate cake, so I am going to melt about an ounce of milk chocolate. So I usually do 30 second increments when using it in the microwave. Okay, so this looks pretty well melted and I'm just gonna stir through, make sure there aren't any pieces that haven't quite melted and then set it to the side so that it can cool down to room temperature. And I can get started with the base of our vanilla cake batter. And so that starts with butter. There are two sticks which is one cup of butter. I'm just going to cream the butter slightly before I add the sugar, just to add a little bit of air to that. That looks good. Now I wanna add in our granulated sugar. This recipe calls for one and a half cups. You can add all of that right in. And then fully incorporate the butter and the sugar together. That's usually one to two minutes. All right, my butter and sugar is a little bit lighter in color and it almost looks fluffier, which is exactly what you want. And to this, I am going to add three eggs. I'm also going to add a full tablespoon of a good quality vanilla extract. And now I'm going to mix those together. This morning when I knew I was going to be making this cake, I took out two special ingredients and that is whole milk and sour cream. I want those to be at room temperature before incorporating them into the butter mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those wet ingredients right into our batter. This is gonna add some good fat to this batter, but not a ton of flavor, which is exactly what you want. And then mix it all together until you have a really smooth, silky consistency. Our wet ingredients are all done and incorporated. Now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients, which is of course flour. And we need two total cups of flour. And then I usually keep my measuring cup right in the storage container. That's another level of consistency that helps in all your baking. And I'm going to add in some baking powder. I'm gonna do one teaspoon and then a half teaspoon of kosher salt. I just love using kosher salt in all my baking. And I'm going to gently mix these together. So typically low, medium low, to just get those ingredients incorporated. And now I'm going to finish by hand, making sure that there's no clumps of flour at the bottom or any excess moisture. And now we want to start focusing on the chocolate side of the marble cake. So what I like to do is just remove some of the batter from this bowl and add it to a separate bowl. And I have opted to remove one cup of the batter. Before I add the chocolate ingredients to this other bowl, I'm going to actually start my oven. And I love with my new KitchenAid Smart Oven, I can do this right from my phone. Set the oven, set the temperature, 350, and send to the oven. And now the oven is starting for me. Pretty neat, huh? All right, so now we're going to add in three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Two and three. And then a half teaspoon of baking soda. Our chocolate that we melted earlier, that is going to get added in as well. And then I just use the same mixer that I used for the vanilla batter and mix this all together. And this is going to be on the thicker side. So I have one more kind of special thing to add to this marble cake, and that is a ganache swirl. 
So this morning I took out some heavy whipping cream just so it would come to room temperature and to that add some semi-sweet chocolate. Roughly about two ounces of chocolate and then I'm going to pop this into the microwave and get that heavy whipping cream really hot and then stir everything together. I took my heavy cream and chocolate out of the microwave and have been stirring it and it is now very silky smooth. Looks like velvet chocolate. It's absolutely perfect as is. We are going to start putting together this marble cake. I have a 10 by 15 pan and I'm just going to spray it. And then I'm going to put all of the vanilla cake batter in the pan and just spread it out evenly. We should get every last morsel of that wonderful batter and we'll just carefully spread this out. I'm going to add my chocolate batter to a piping bag. I just like to. I don't know why. If you decide not to do uh, your chocolate batter in a piping bag, just get your spoon and do dollops onto the vanilla batter and it'll basically turn out the same. Get the batter settled in the bag and, and then I'm just going to zigzag in the pan. And it should be the exact right amount to go just around the pan. And now I'm going to take my kitchen knife and just run it through the batter one time. And there we're starting to create kind of a fun marble design. But I also want to go back in and add some of that ganache. I'm just going to follow the knife pattern that I just did. And then just go back one more time with the knife in the opposite direction. And that is it. You don't want to mess with it anymore. We're still going to have lots of the beautiful vanilla cake, but there's just little pockets of the perfect chocolate cake and then the ganache just resting right around it. I'm going to pop this into the oven for anywhere from 13 to 16 minutes at 350 degrees and then our cake is going to be perfect and we're going to try it. This cake is done. You can see all of the gorgeous vanilla cake, chocolate cake, and of course that little ganache swirl that we added. It's really warm still, fresh out of the oven, but I think I should dive in anyway because what's going to happen? I'm going to eat hot cake. It's happened before. This cake is absolute perfection. You can see the vanilla cake very clearly with the chocolate cake swirled beautifully together. You're going to get a bite of each in every single bite. Can I go in? Oh my gosh, it's so good. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. You can see it comes together so fast, so easy, and this one is gonna be a showstopper for sure. Head on over to imbaker.net for the complete recipe and all the ingredients and instructions listed out perfectly for you, and then make it and let me know what you think. I gotta go in for more.